what is going on guys welcome back on in rebel trainer bringing you the best in streaming content that's right we are back we are going through a brand new series on the channel here um i don't know if this will make it onto youtube or not it might it just might help out with the uh, content creation and stuff but this is a game i've been super hyped about i've been watching some people play it um really good shiny odds all that good stuff so um yeah, let's let's dive on into it. Um, let me know if the music is too loud, if the uh, game audio is too bad, or if my voice isn't good enough. But let's hop on into it as we always do. If you're receiving this message, it seems like the description key made it to you. Tech Ops have advised me that there is a 0.001% chance of the warping process failing, so I will continue with my briefing. You refer me as Agent Roberts. I am what the agency refers to as a receiver, a shepherd to guide and orient new field agents to their new reality. You are a field agent from the year 3564 CE. You are part of an elite group of time-traveling operatives that work for the Epoch government. You've been sent back to the current year of your assignment. I've been given to understand that sometimes the warping process or the process of transferring your consciousness to a civilian in the current timeline will sometimes cause a field agent to lose their memory. That's why the agency is receiving has recently implemented the use of receivers such as myself to get you oriented towards your new reality. Beakers! Welcome on in. All good. The lurking is much appreciated. Receiver or not, I'm not going to baby you, so I would request you consult the following do dossier before arriving at Agency HQ, the outline based instructions, but you should see to refer to it. I would advise you to pause this playback. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Um, okay, I don't, I don't actually don't need this because, you know. Double bow, brothers! Welcome on in, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my word. Smashing that A button too much. Okay. All right. Our mission is to serve the interests of the government of Epoch, so they will range in difficulty and complexity. We can only train our agents to make sure they are ready to face the challenges that arise. Alright, so oh boy. Who will I be? I am going to be Rebel. Yep. Look for Professor Roberts. This place, good luck, Agent Rebel. Alright. Hey, Mom. What's wrong with you? It's me, your mother. I, uh, sorry, Mom. Right, warp. Gotta assimilate. You know, you're awfully quiet today. Everything okay, hon? Yeah, um, everything's fine. Um, I'm looking for, uh, Professor Roberts. He has a lab in town or something. Professor Roberts? Oh, yes. He lives in the lab, right? To the south of town. Why don't you go there and see him for yourself? Um, <clears throat> I got a call from him. He's, uh, looking for a, uh, Field assistant. <clears throat> Field assistant? Hmm. Okay, well, I suppose something to keep you occupied. More time spent outside is probably good for you anyways. Ha ha ha. Okay, honey, if you need to go see him, let's not keep him waiting. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Um... Pokey treat. Oh, cool. Stop. Okay, and a potion. Nice. Ah, oh, Agent, <clears throat> come over here. Now they receive your mission briefing and sign Pokemon. Welcome to HQ Recruit. It seems like you've received your initial briefing as expected. I would like to introduce you to the two fellow recruits that recently warped to this timeline as well. Agent Rhea and Agent Cameron. <clears throat> oh, Beagers, I don't know if I can do the voices like you can. <clears throat> oh. I, I can recognize that consciousness from a mile away. That's the weakling 37A. Congr salutation. Oh, <clears throat> salutations, 37A, or shall I call you rebel? It seems you were the unfortunate victim of some memory loss during the warping process. Ha, ah, typical. Are you going to baby 37A throughout this entire timeline? It's sad, but that you didn't lose your memory during your warping process, Cameron. You continue to be a jerk, no matter what timeline you're in. 
Worry not, Agent Rebel. You could speak to the other scientists in the lab to help get a better grip. Orientation. Oriented. Whatever. They might have something to help you with the temporary illness, too. Now, Rebel, I shall let you choose your partner Pokemon first, and then you can begin the process. All right. So, here begins the fun of our shiny hunting. Um, I... Oh, nope. I know exactly which one I want. I want Froakie. We're not going to do the whole naming process yet. All right. So now begins the fun of our <clears throat> counting process. So encounter number ooh. 200 in your face, Mr. Beegers. 200 in your face. Two hundred in your stinking face. Now let's save it before we get too far. Let's take a look at her. She is glorious and purple and gray, and I love her so much. Careful nature, storm drain ability won't matter in a moment. I'll explain why. EV IVs are eh, they're, they're decent. Not bad, not bad. And we gotta change that out. All right. 25, one in 100. Well, I was wrong. You know, only about like 10 wrong or 10 times wrong. It's all good, it's all good. I'd rather you be wrong than me be wrong. So. All right. <sighs> They're going to pick their starters. Cameron is our rival in regards to picking our stronger. Rhea is our weaker rival. So this will not go well. I can already tell you because he chooses Turtwig. And Turtwig in this game has stamina, which we all know is awesome. So, so let's just get used to, uh, yeah, we're, we're not beating this. It's just, just straight up facts. I, I do have the potions though. Go, go for, uh, nope. Dang it. Okay. Whatever. We get healed. We get the battle Rhea. Yeah. Froakie's, uh. Shiny was just amazing. With the Storm Draining ability, too. Really cool. Well done, all of you. I also need to provide you with a few standard issue items for all field agents. One, Pokedex and running shoes, which is awesome. Pokedex tool to help to identify and understand the different Pokemon you see. The Poke Gear is useful function map, radio, and satellite phone. Another quick thing, you should be aware of pressing the Q button on your keyboard. Quick save, which only can be done outside of battle. If you want to change your partner's nature or its ability, I have summoned some specialists that are waiting in the lab. So, we can change Froki. <laughs> Speed up his OP. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, which which one is my... Okay, that's that's my running... Okay, you change my ability, which is great because now Froki has a protein ability. And you change my, oh no, you give me Pokeballs. Nuzlocke has officially started. And you change my nature, so. All right, so this is a, um, a shiny lock. So we are going to be able to basically encounter whatever we want for, for a while to, oh, lots of bugs. Oh, that, Marie, hold up. Uh, so basically we, the first shiny Pokemon that we get will be our, um, our encounter. So might as well just do, this. Ooh, 
<laughs> Would you look at that? All right, well, Venonat was caught. Uh, bug poison. That is a stark contrast. Um, Venonat. Um, then a maw. All right, we're calling it Butterscot. We'll we'll do it for Double Battle Brothers. Call it Double Butters Butterscot. Oh yeah, I guess we should reset our encounters, shouldn't we? I think we're at two. Yep, there it is. Yo, look at that Chimchar. Look at him. Look at him. Um, yeah. And first ball, let's go. I mean, just it's a stark contrast. Now, can you not die and catch it? Shh, shh. All right, Chimchar. I think the only appropriate name for the well, Beegers, I will I will get you something else. I I have to name it Monk. Somebody just almost died. That's all. That's all. That's that's all. We we saw we saw nothing on the speed up. We saw. It's not butter. Ugh. Oh, I can I can do this. I can do this. All right, so this is our pain box. Um, monk. What's up, buddy? I actually have something in my party just for you. I don't know if you were here when we, uh, this thing must die a most painful death. Yo, Monk, I gotta show you this. Look at that. For you? Yes, just of you. We literally just caught this little gem. It's all good, my friend. I appreciate the love. You just missed me being triggered, that's all. Oh, what? I want that Chimchar. What is that? What is that kiwi? Yo, that that legitimately looks like a kiwi. Um, how am I gonna hit this thing? I guess I go out the monk. It's the mask, Jim Carrey. Is that what we're going with? We're going with mask, or we're going with Jim? Masked the mask. Oh, I hit enter. I can always I can always correct that later. It's a water type egg. I'm not gonna take it right now. Um mostly because I don't want to take the time to Oh crap, what is that? Monk, what is that? The egg will have a low chance of being shiny. What, what, what is that? <sighs> View rewards, channel points. What, what was that one? If I don't see belly dancing, I'll be disappointed.
You didn't see it, but I did the worm. Oh, 200 per battle? Yo, let's let's do it. Yeah, if it's not shiny, I'm just gonna kinda, you know, whatever. So this is just fat free experience for us. We could battle six at once, which is great because they just self inflict damage upon themselves, but no attacking moves. This is strictly just so we can get free levels. Around. I'm going to pass on that. And Froki evolves into Frogadier, which is, again, one of the sickest, sickest things. Fell for the taunt. You never saw it coming. Oh, I just realized. Okay, so it's not hitting me that hard. Okay. I just, I just realized how dumb that was on my part. That we could lose Monk right here. That was, that was almost really, really bad. Uh, it's late. If you lose Monk in the game, Monk, calm down. You made me dance for 1,500 points or whatever. Monk is evolving! Monk, you're growing up right before our eyes. That green flame is just so satisfying. Well. <laughs> oh my word. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. It is literally like a kiwi mass thing. I have to go in here. Talk to this dude. We barely thought these attacks were random one-off, however, they've been increasing in intensity and frequency. So, following some investigation, we believe there is some sort of supernatural disturbance that's affected the Pokemon in the region. It is inciting them to attack the museum was most recently impacted. If you've spoken to the guard by now, he will have told you the basement was flooded during the last attack. That's a lie. Uh, the guard is one of our wards now. He, we subjugate him using our sleeper technology. He's preventing civilians from wandering in because he thinks it's in because he thinks because the museum was flooded. Little does he know that we set up a base down below. Simply say sleeper and then he will let you through. Um, I'll meet you downstairs. Okay, very good, sir. All right, so let's go tell this guy, sleeper, all hail the agency. <laughs> Great voice acting. As I said earlier, the Pokemon attacks are getting more intense. We have traced the origin of the attack from Stonecrest Woods. Our scientists have said that the, where the Pokemon attacks occurred, an energy flare was recorded in Stonecrest Woods shortly beforehand. We don't know who or what may have caused the energy flare, but the following attacks was uncharacteristic of the Pokemon in the woods. The events must have been correlated. There is an individual by the name of Emil Liano. He is a hermit that lives in the woods. Your next mission is to go to Stonecrest Woods, interrogate this individual, and see what he knows. He might have some intel to inform us of our next steps. For now, we can take comfort in knowing that the attacks have not reoccurred, but our organization is not one to leave things to chance. I have a question. Why are we bothering to investigate a small, isolated Pokemon attack on a nearby town in this timeline? Why are we doing the jobs of local authorities? Ah, uh, 37 a. Always the inquisitive one. Before I answer the question, I need to challenge you to a battle to verify that you are prepared for what comes next. Do you really think that our agency would just disclose need-to-know mission-critical information to agents that we didn't believe we were ready to be field-tested in such a manner? Now prepare yourself! Trust me, sir. I am I am prepared. Squirtle? Ah, Squirtle. Squirtle, you aren't ready for the air slash? Goodbye? Pidgey? Your inferior bird Pokemon shall not stand a chance against my mask. Good work, recruit. 
Impressive recruit. It seems you've been fine in Stonecrest Woods. Well, to answer your question, we had been studying infrared structure. Infra infrared structure? Sign signature. <clears throat> Coming from Stonecrest Woods, there is no technology from this timeline that we are aware of that could be capable of producing such a persistent signature. Any technology that emits such kinds of energy could be lethal in the hands of individuals from this timeline if they come to learn of its latent power. We need to reclaim whatever this technology is that is producing such energy to prevent it from being misused. I will also install the app on your Go Gear so you can sp shake specific trees in Stonecrest Woods. It can come in handy. Me dolphin amp. So um, HMs are no longer needed in this game, which is great because I hate HMs that we have to do. This person gives us X speed. Well. Okay. So we got the Elekid very quickly, might I add. Um, okay. Phew. Well, the problem is I am uh, protein. So that then becomes stab. Bug fighting? Francis? Okay. Which is fitting because it was a male. So I can go up there. But for now, we are going to... <clears throat> uh, excuse me? Who are you? And what are you doing barging into my home? Come to finish me off, have you? You won't get better. You won't get, the... you won't get the better of me this time. Well, Emil, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, you ain't winning this. Trumbeak. Yo, this music. Gives me a little creep vibes. Like Mission Impossible almost. Kicked off the island. Oddish. Bum, bum. I love it. Goodbye. That was actually really good timing. Um, I'm going to send out Francis just for a switch training. Oh my word. Look at that. Whoa. What is that? Man. Lord's work must be done now. Yes. With one last air slash, the mighty mask has eliminated Emil. Oh, he still has a Pokemon? Oh. All right, well. That's a thing. Now it's Pinsir. Well, the Intimidate coming off clutch. Um, Yeah, let's go out the Monk. He's getting pumped. He's getting pumped. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, no. Okay. 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 There was a moment where my heart sunk to my belly in lower regions, and I thought for sure we were dead. Because um, I was thinking it was counter for a second and not revenge. Although that did a ton of, of damage. Can we just evaluate that? Well, your, your stealth rocks are not going to do a whole lot for you right now. Wait, you, you don't look like the person that attacked me last week. A apologies for assaulting you. Normally, I would entertain the occasional trainer who wants to challenge me. There, there seems to be some fascination or some rumor in the city about me, so I constantly have a stream of these trespassers on my property. I would normally value you under more controlled circumstances. However, you bursting in my home surprised me. You ever heard of knocking? In any case, you beat me fair and square, so I suppose I owe you this TM. Struggle bug. Well, that's pretty cool. Um... 
app a panic because I'm a bit jumpy of late. You see, a couple of days ago, when I went into the city to restock on supplies, I was attacked by a mysterious assailant. He took a precious relic of mine, a soul stone. It is an heirloom that has been passed down in my family for generations. When he accosted me, he also stole some of my partner Pokemon. The strange thing is that he said he knew who I was, a soul keeper. <laughs> I have not heard anyone call me by my family's title outside my family who have long since passed away. So let's just say you're lucky I didn't exactly have my A-team with me during our fight. Can you help me find my Pokemon? Well, thank you. Uh, following the attack, I was concerned whether all the stories had been told by my family about being a Soul Keeper were true. My godfather told me my family hailed up from a long line of historical royalty and known as Soul Keepers, and we had some grand purpose. The relics that he held, the Soul Stones, were powerful objects that could influence the Pokemon around you. I never paid much attention to my grandfather's stories because... You who heard the, about the rant attack on the city, I, I might live in the woods, but I do have the internet to see where the nearby Pokemon attacks have happened. Um, the jerks in the city call me a hermit or a weirdo. I just prefer nature. That's all. It can't be a coincidence. A mysterious assailant who knew my history as a descendant of the Soul Keeper stole my family's heirloom. I felt like I was being fouled. I, I let my guard down. That's when we attacked. No sooner than the Soul Stones and Energy Flares recorded from the woods shortly thereafter. My city is attacked. My guess is in the Energy Flare, the woods, my Soul Stone, that assailant are still in the woods somewhere. Man, this guy long winded. I am going to heal though. All right. Yes, that was quite the long dialogue if, if I have to say so. Okay. So let's see, is our egg close? No, it doesn't seem close to hatching yet. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if I go to the left, that continues the story. So let's, let's save. Double save, just in case. All right, that is where we are going to wrap up for this evening. For this evening. Um... Uh, thank you guys so much again for watching. I will catch you guys. YouTube shorts. Absolutely. The shiny lock. Um, but yeah. So thanks guys. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.